Hate parks, and now you thought an art exhibition's better? It was like, it was like, okay, here's- Okay, here's, hold on, there's different types of art exhibitions. Yeah, okay, okay. There's the pretentious kinds. <laughs> I would oh, argue, okay, I okay, would okay, argue okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Finish that sentence, Jay. There's the pretentious, okay. What, and the ones I like. There's the pretentious kinds, <laughs> and then there's like the fun interactive kinds. Okay, I went to the fun interactive kinds. Okay, kind. good. Which one did but you go to? what are the pretentious kinds? You know, the ones that are just like the, like, Look, I'm gonna call them out. A lot of the contemporary arts museums around the world that I've been to are just like a little bit too like, mm, yes, this is art. <laughs> I have nailed a banana to the wall and I've called it's it actually art. actually duct tape, I, banana I, to the wall. I, I, yeah, I would, whatever. I, I, I would argue that they're all like that though. Um, some of them are just more fun Is it modern others. art or? Uh, yeah, I, think, I think older art. Museums are pretty stunning. Oh, oh Again, yeah, those, those ones are those ones you know, are like nice. a Rembrandt up close. You're yeah, like, for that. sure. That's fucking stunning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like we went to this. Inter I, I can't remember the name. It was like Team Labs or something like. Oh that. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, you, I mean, oh, you went to Team Labs. I went to Team Labs. It's like yeah. that is like I am a tourist in Japan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Every <laughs> single article about. Uh, places to go in Japan has team labs. Has team yeah. labs. Yeah. I don't know. They've dominated the like <laughs> tourism. You, you've been do. obviously, right? Yeah. I've never been. You never? No. Uh, I mean, I've, I've been only, like two or three times. It's yeah, fun. because like the only reason I was I was there because like we were in the area and mm. we had like a like an hour or two to kill. Mm. I was like, what's in the area? Oh, Team Labs. Let's 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 sure. go check it out. And it's it's weird, right? Because it was the, like the, the whole thing's about Team Labs is that there's it's this kind of like interactive kind of mm. art exhibition where mm. they have different pieces that most of them you can interact with, right? For Instagram. Huh? For Instagram. Oh, oh, it's, oh it's, it is an Instagram's treasure. It is it's like it's literally nobody. On Instagram nobody everywhere. there actually cares about the art. I'll, yeah. I'll say that. Yeah, much, yeah. Okay? Everyone there cares about getting them, a cool Tell fucking profile. Yeah, no one, picture. no one goes into a team labs room and goes, "I love the way that the colors are representing <laughs> the, our internal." Sorry, they're, no, they're just like, "All right, where is the prettiest background for my next Instagram post?" Yeah, yeah, I, I know this because I was the only one actually fucking reading the text with every exhibition. <laughs> Everyone was just like walking I, past. I didn't even know there was text. <laughs> Because <laughs> like we we were like uh, we 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 would walk through this thing yeah. and I would be like and there would be like this text explaining this art exhibition at the yeah. end. Sydney Sydney was always already in the next fucking room and I was like wait a minute I'm reading this <laughs> and then I read it and then I'm like okay now I understand why no one reads this yeah <laughs> because like it was okay the it's it's Instagram bait disguised as an art museum uh, like, yeah of course just, that's what yeah. it is like it's it's made for Instagrammers so, yeah. like, people taking pictures which is yeah. fine nothing wrong with that. But like, yeah, pretending to be some pretentious art museum is kind of like, well. well. I mean, you know, I went to Meow Wolf uh, on the US tour, which is basically the American version mm. of Team Labs. So, where it's like, so, it's, it's an interactive art museum, yes. but no one actually gives a shit about like the art. So I mean, what, maybe what was in Meow Wolf? So Meow Wolf is very much similar to Team Labs in the sense that like it's separated into like different rooms. Mm, so like right. each room, I, I don't know how it is in Team Labs, but at least with Meow Wolf, at least the one I went to in uh, in Denver was um, each room is actually done by a different independent artist. So yeah. the vibe and the feel of everything and the interactivity and the level of interactivity is completely different in different rooms. Right. Yeah. Um, so, and there isn't usually like one theme of the entire place. It's it's like all over the fucking place. Whereas like mm. Team Labs is kind of like the theme I feel like kind of flows into one another. So it feels like just one big exhibition right. rather than lots of little small exhibitions. Right. Um and I feel like at least the at least Meow Wolf is a lot more like I don't know. It's kind of like Teen Labs on crack. It's just like it's just sensory overload. Right. Whereas right. Team Labs is a little more like subtle and more like ambient in in, in its feel, right? It's like, yeah. oh, okay, this is kind of a nice calming environment that is also very aesthetic and Instagram worthy. Yeah, because uh, there, there, there are some exhibitions where, there, there were some pieces where I was just like, I'll be honest, I don't get it. Like there was, <laughs> there was one exhibition where you had to like take your shoes off because there was, there was a, lot, a lot of team labs um, there are some exhibitions where you can get up to like knee high water. Yeah, yeah. And here I am rocking up in like boots and the fucking jeans. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to have a bad time. But luckily I could just roll my jeans up. That's but pretty cool though. Yeah, yeah it's very but, cool. But there was like one exhibition where the, the exhibition is you walking up 
uh, you walking up like a slight incline mm. and then there's like warm water trickling down. And oh then, yeah, yeah. Mind you, this water doesn't smell like spring water. It's cl- very clearly chlorined water. Yeah. So it just smells like swimming pool, right? Oh. <laughs> because God knows how many people are walking in this water. And then I remember I remember like, oh, this is this is a cool entrance to an exhibition, right? Yeah. This is a cool entrance to whatever they're about to show us. And then I, I walk up, uh, we, I reach the top of the hill. Um, I reached the next room and then there's a plaque explaining that that was the exhibition. I was like, what? <laughs> I thought that was like the entrance to the art piece. I didn't know that was a fucking art piece itself. Well, what was the explanation? The art piece is that we've made a shit river. <laughs> uh, it, it was- Was it good? Yeah. Would you, was it worth the money, would you say? Um. If you post on Instagram, I didn't take any pictures, unfortunately. <laughs> you didn't did you, take any pictures? Did you really go gaunt? <laughs> Wait, hold on. And the- <laughs> you are, I think you are the only person I've literally, ever heard of that has gone to team labs and not taken a photo. Literally the only person on earth to ever go there and not take a picture. Yeah, I, t- I took it. photos for Sydney. Oh. I just, you, I it was the perfect- I, 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 I was the Instagram yes, boyfriend. <laughs> it was the perfect opportunity to bring your Instagram back from the dead and you but you blew it. I was like, nah, I'm, I'm good, man. My wow, Instagram is like, if, if if Team Labs can't revive it, I, it's fucking it's buried in under, bro. But then, but then there was like another, there was like another art piece as well, where it was basically this room that was just, it was padded from like ceiling to like floor and like mm. all the walls padded with like bean bags and stuff mm. like that. And you could like, you you couldn't like walk on it uh, without fucking falling over or something mm. because like you, it was just so well padded that you would sink in. And like the whole <laughs> point of that is that, um, I, I can't remember the What's exact- What's the message behind the, that? The whole point okay, of that. Lay it on me, dog. Okay, let, I'll, I'll try to remember what the message was because I was reading this and I was just like, this is, I. I, I, I don't fucking get this. So it's like, uh, since the world mm. is flat, we've mm. forgotten that we can affect each other, right? So when, so- Wait, so, hold on. Did you just start off with the world is flat? Yeah. <laughs> well, since we, since the flat. Was this made by flat earth? <laughs> <laughs> so we all know the world since is we, flat. As we we all know. Since we walk on a flat earth yeah. or, a fl- or a flat floor, we yeah. forget the effect we can have on our fellow human being. Um, so See, in this because room, the message I got, because I remember that room, yeah. the message I got out of that room is, oh, it's like a McDonald's playpen. <laughs> this is fun. Whee! The message I got of that room is TwitchCon could fucking never, man. <laughs> TwitchCon could never. <laughs> this is what TwitchCon wanted. <laughs> they didn't have enough phone for this shit. What? What? Was it, uh, I think I, I remember one of the, the cool rooms in Team Labs, I think it was like, uh, it was covered, it was this kind of hallway that was covered in like very, very light string, just like Yeah, that was the coolest one. That yeah. had like lights attached to it. Oh, yeah. And the lights would kind of like flicker and like wave back and forth as you were like kind of wa- waving through mm-hmm. this like sea of lights. That was really cool. What's the message behind that? <laughs> I don't know. That was that was. I, I just remember, I just remember going through a lot of like the exhibitions in Team Labs, mm. and it reminds I, like a scene in John Wick. That's always yeah. thought of it. Like this is like the penultimate scene <laughs> where John Wick has to kill like the the main bad guy's like bodyguard, right? Yeah. And then it's always in like one of those art things where it's like everything's a, everything's a mirror, and we got yeah. yeah. everything's reflective, and it, and there's lights, and he's trying to fight them. There That's was like, a room in Meow Wolf actually where the entire thing was just full of mirrors. Yeah. It's just, I, I just like- It's pretty cool. <laughs> they've, uh, they've been pulling that trick since like the circus days in the 1900s. I know, but I've never been in one. And so when I went in one, I was like, oh, this is true. You've never yeah. been in like a hall of mirrors? Never. What? That's we- like every like shitty carnival has one. I never went to a carnival. They don't have carnival. They don't have shitty carnivals in Australia. Maybe they do, but my parents never took me to one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I think my biggest takeaway after going out of like that like interactive art experience is that it's a fucking travesty mm. that you would make this in a country where every fucking uh, every drug is illegal. It's just like <laughs> it's just it's it's a it's an actual <laughs> fucking travesty, you know. <laughs> like <laughs> That is true. That's just <laughs> That's funny. It's like it's like you don't need drugs, just use your imagination <laughs> and read the writing on the walls that no one fucking reads. Cause because I'm I'm going through it and I'm like, this this is an exhibition that just was seemed to be made for like a country where you you, you pop an edible or something and go to it beforehand <laughs> and you and you go enjoy the experience, you know. That's that just it just seems like that was what this experience was tailor made for. And yeah. obviously that's that's not a thing in Japan. No. So. No oh, man, museums in Japan are either like 
amazing or so, so bad. And normally they're bad. Yeah. What, what, what's a good museum for I, you then? I, I think a good museum is one that, where you know nothing of the source material or what it's based on mm. or what it's what it's there to, to cover mm. and it can engage you. Yeah. So I think like, you know, have you been to the Natural History Museum in, in the UK? That's really yeah. good. Like, I don't fucking care about dinosaurs. Maybe I'm maybe I'm like the one person on I, earth who I, doesn't I don't care. Know. I don't know. I don't, I don't care about dinosaurs. People say they don't care about dinosaurs, but no one like, no one actively like deep, hates dinosaurs. Deep down, there deep is down. the five-year-old you that's like, yeah. oh, Tyrannosaurus. When someone I, says, I actually, when someone I actually says, says, don't give a fuck about dinosaurs. When someone says they don't care about dinosaurs, I'm like, Bet there's there's a bone in your body yeah, that's just, it's like, just like it's like a really like everything in that museum is so well made and mm, all of mm. the information is presented in such a really cool way mm, yeah you know and you, when you go into like the, the dinosaur exhibition it's you literally walk in and all of these like elements explaining everything about dinosaurs and stuff yeah literally above you is a giant fucking like dinosaurs like skeleton yeah yeah, yeah. It's really cool really compact it's just really busy that's just because mm. dinosaurs are cool but dinosaurs are right. sick dinosaurs. even like even like the stuff where it's like the the bug museum part of it i'm like that's fucking sick yeah like, that's no, awesome no yeah, i like, love it I, given there are some topics that are easier to present uh, in museums than others. I think, I think animals are like one of the easier ones. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But like something like art is like, I'm like, fuck, I don't, even, I don't know how you'd get me interested in that. I, I, I had, I'd, I'd be I've, like, I've been to art galleries before. Yeah. Um, and it's, uh, let's just say it's not for me. You know, that's just- When, when that's I'm in just... a really popular museum, I really, I'm gonna, I'm like, fuck man, I wish this was quiet. But then when I get in a mm. really quiet museum, I'm like, fuck, I'd love some, something. <laughs> like some, just like some cough or something. Yeah, some there's, some, there's, there's there's like a balance of like the, yeah. the amount of people in an exhibit, right? Like, yeah. cause I remember, like, I don't have, I, I don't really have time to do it anymore. But I remember when I first moved to Japan, I had this like period of like, six or seven months where I used to go to the, the you know, the Mori Arts Museum in Roppongi. There's this right. there's this art museum in Roppongi, uh, like in Roppongi Hills where the old oh. YouTube headquarters used to be. Oh, is right. that um, where they have that weird like fucking like Stranger Things ass monster thing looking statue? Yeah, the spider yeah, looking the, thing, right? Fucking creepy statue. Whatever that thing is. But basically on the top floor of uh, one of the buildings there, they have this thing called the Mori Arts Museum. And I think it's like every- Is that where the anime stuff goes? A lot of anime. Okay, yeah, I, went to the, I went to the almost Neverland one. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Yeah, I, but basically it's like, more. I think it's like every couple of months they switch out the exhibits to like new things. Sometimes yeah. it's like anime exhibits. Sometimes it's, you know, just like a, an independent artist. Sometimes it's mm. like maybe like dinosaurs or something thematic. Yeah. And I had a period for like, uh, maybe like the first year or so where I would go to the Moriarty Museum like, every other month mm. just to see what was there because I think the way that they did it was really cool because it's like, obviously if it was like an anime museum, like I went to the Attack on Time Museum there and like the Sailor Moon exhibit there and like there was, they did a ton of those. Um, but then there was some where it's just like an independent artist where it's like, I've never heard of this person or what they do, but mm. let's go check it out. And I think the Mori Arts Museum does it in a cool way because it's kind of like, a lot of it is like a lot of contemporary arts where it's kind of like team labs where it's it's not necessarily interactive but it kind of is it isn't it isn't just like here's some paintings on a wall yeah you know it's very much like sculptures or like whole room exhibits or like you know something to do with like lighting or something like that where it's like a little more interesting than just being like mm, yes the, pa the the paint work on this is is, is is exquisite you know it's like <laughs> and it's like i don't have a problem with that kind of art exhibit as well like i've been to the louvre and stuff like that and a lot of it is like that but like there's more history behind that, right? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I, and that's, that's that's the interesting part to me. Yeah, I mean, that with, with those kinds, that's more like a museum yeah. in, in my mind, because yeah. you're seeing like actual real history. You're seeing a, mm. you're kind of experiencing a part of history and stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, th there has been art that has like impressed me and stuff like that, but I feel like one, you really need to be in the right mood to be there because then, you, you know, or you, you need to be on the right drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on who you ask. <laughs> yeah, because like, unless there's some kind of interesting way to display this information, yeah. right? no matter if you're, if, if it's like an art museum or if it's just uh, a museum about whatever, right? Mm. If it's just this display, and just text next to it. Mm. It's just that's I've I've never found that interesting at all. Yeah, it feels like I'm just scrolling through a Wikipedia article. Yeah, you know. I think like one of the really cool ones I remember going uh, to see in the Mori Arts uh, Museum was uh, this independent Japanese contemporary artist <coughs> who 
does a lot of like uh, exhibits and paintings, but all of her works uh, kind of play around with like this idea of perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's like, uh, there was a piece uh, I remember- the black and white one? Uh, I don't know if it's the black and white one, but there was one where like one of the rooms you walk into and the entire room looks like the inside of a train. But when you look on either side of the walls, the walls are actually like skewed in. So, it, so right. when you look straight down it, it looks like the wall goes mm. way further than it actually does. And yeah. it looks like you're like actually looking That's down cool. a carriage of a train. And like stuff like that is cool because it's like, it's again, it's not just like painting and some text. Yeah, You know, if anything, I think that exhibit, like that entire exhibit, there was no like text to read about. It was kind of just like a, go see it for yourself feel how you feel, interpret it, how you interpret it. And like- Post your pictures feel. to Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it, I, I like the kind of exhibits where it's like, it gives you the space to interpret how you want to interpret it. Like if you yeah. want to find that to be cool, then sick. If you just look at it and be like, yeah, all right. Then you're free to do so kind of yeah. thing, you know? Hmm. Cause like, what, how do you feel about the anime art exhibits or the, man the manga exhibits that pop up every now and so, again. So, yeah, and cause I've been to a lot of them. And are you gonna convince me it's anything but a glorified way to get exclusive merch? I mean, that is definitely true. <laughs> I feel like that's why like 90% of people go to them. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I go to 90%. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, okay, seeing the original panels, Pretty dope, <laughs> yeah. You know, like, see, like, you know, like when I went to like the Berserk exhibit, for example, right? Yeah. I was like fucking seeing like Mira's art and shit mm. like that yeah, was like, yeah. you know, up close and personal was fucking amazing. But I want that limited edition painting though. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every time I see a new, a new like anime or manga exhibit, I'm like, oh, they decided to do a pop-up store and an extra exhibit on top yeah. of that, you know? <laughs> and it's, 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 it's nice. And I think Berserk is one of the few examples I think of that could really work because mm. Mira's art is fucking insane. Mm. Yeah. You know? And I think it would be insane to see his original manuscripts and everything like that. Actually, I think one of the best anime exhibits I ever went to was probably the Baki one. Mm -hmm. uh, that, seemed cool. that they did at Tokyo Dome because it's like, it's not only you get to see like up close and personal, you know, Itagaki's like panels and, you know, art and stuff like that, but yeah. they also had interactive elements. So like in yeah. the middle of the exhibit, they basically recreated like the, the under the Tokyo Dome, like battle mm. area with like full on sand and everything. And they added it little details of like little bits of like teeth and nails oh, like yeah. on the ground and shit. And like, there's a statue of Baki that, that you can like stand next to and take a photo That's with. Like, it looks like you're fighting Baki in the underground. Like, like stuff like that, I think is makes standard like anime exhibits way cooler. Like mm, it's yeah. still cool. Like if you like the artist or, you know, you like the, the look of the mm -hmm, manga or whatever, mm -hmm. just going to go see the original stuff as a fan is dope. But like, it gives you more of an excuse, I guess, to like, you know, actually be part of the experience. If you have something there, that's not just, let's just look at some manga panels, you know? Yeah, yeah a lot of them that I've been to are just literally like behind the scenes panels. And it's like, okay, mm. if I'm really into that, that's cool. But yeah. a lot of the times I'm kind of like, okay, well, I mean, I, I kind of like the I've main- already, I've already seen yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like, uh, they're like, oh, it took him two days to write this. I'm like, okay, well, did I need to come here to find that out? Like, <laughs> right, right. A lot of the yeah. times I'm just like, why go to a physical location? Like, mm. yeah, and cool. Yeah, maybe some behind the scenes or, early panels or mock-ups, that's cool. Mm. Like, yeah. like for me, it's like, eh, you know. Yeah. But the Baki one sounded cool. I'm kind of sad yeah. I didn't go to it. Yeah, yeah, the Baki one was cool. What I didn't like about the Baki one though, is the fact that the, the add-on that they decided to tack onto it was uh, a Baki themed cafe, which- Oh, those, oh. they always- Japan the does always every do single that. fucking time. But like the Baki one, especially, I was like, wow, you yeah. guys took the laziness of like incorporating the elements of Baki with standard cafe food oh to the God. next level. They, they had like, this. they had like fucking carbonara that was themed after Detsukayo. And I'm like, one, there is not a single moment in Baki where Detsu is eating carbonara. And two, when you look at the picture, it's literally just a plate of carbonara with like a paper cutout of Detsu's face on is, top of wait, it. Is Retsu the Chinese guy? Yeah, the Chinese guy. Okay. Oh, okay. And I'm like, you weren't Chinese even foods. gonna like match with Chinese food? <laughs> you gave him fucking carbonara? I think a lot of the times 
I, I'm just speculating on how it works, but I think a lot of them are like outsourced cafes. So it's like whatever the cafe can make. Yeah, for and sure. So you just kind of like, oh, yeah. fucking put their face on it. Go but at least there. like, you know, I've been to some- Some of them are good though. Yeah, I've been to some theme cafes where like the food actually matches like the theme of whatever it is. Like, like that's Obviously, the reason why- it's easier though as yeah, well. Like I, certain yeah. shows lend way better to having a theme Absolutely. than like food than others. Yeah, so I totally get it. But it's like, at that point, if you're going to go so far as to like, not even put the effort to like, at least try and get close to the theme mm. of whatever theme, cafe it is then like what's the point in wasting your time and money on it well yeah. money it's yeah. always about the money, money. i guess it's always about the money i guess so the money i guess so because- that exclusive merch man like like i say it's like the i i, I, I mean to- i bought a painting <laughs> and a skateboard I, from the I, go to every, I go to every exhibition and i swear 90 percent of the people are waiting in the merch line and it's like 10 yeah. percent are I, in the actual exhibit exactly itself. yeah when i I went to the, I've been to a few cafes, Emily, because Emily's obsessed with them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how she can She's doing be. videos about them. And we went to the, okay. um, I don't know, I don't want to spoil a video, but we went to the Banana Fish Cafe and yeah. there, was, there was merch. And my God, it was like, it, one of the merches was that you could um, you could buy a, a prepackaged cookie. Just a cookie, like not, but okay. it's like, it's like the, the outside packaging is themed for like- Banana Fish. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess, I guess how much the cookie was. Like how how big are we just talking? Just a normal like, fucking size cookie, just like literally a Starbucks cookie that you could buy. Four hundred yen. 500 it was like nine hundred yen. What the fuck? For just a cookie <laughs> that you're probably not gonna eat because you don't want to ruin the package. Is it just I, anything I special? I, no, no, it was just a fucking cookie. It was literally wasn't just, even it, banana flavored. I don't even think it's banana oh or fish God. flavored. Uh, and again, like this food is always just so meh. Yeah. I hate going to these places. Like I'm like I've wasted one of my my calor- caloric intake meals <laughs> on this, and I paid a premium for it. If I I would have rather have gone to McDonald's, like literally yeah. anything else. Like why I just food is my one joy in life, and these cafes <laughs> rob it from me. And I get I get so sad when I go to them. Yeah, yeah. Which is why, like, I think I really appreciate it when I do find a themed cafe that actually gives a shit about trying to. I've never been to one where I thought the food was good. Okay, because the only one I've been to that I thought was good was the Kirby Cafe. I've heard that one's pretty good actually. Yeah. But the booking is like nuts. Yeah. You have to yeah. like like all the semi decent cafes you have to book like ten years in advance. Yeah, and the I, Pokemon I, one you have to book like two months in advance. Yeah, the yeah. Pokemon. But even then, like I've been to the Pokemon Cafe a few times, and it's like it, the food is good. Like it's better than the standard themes mm. cafe, but still, it's like it's fucking cafe. It's food. hard, yeah. especially when it's a pop up too, mm. to make food that's even remotely good because it's all. Well, that's why the Kirby one is good because uh, that's a permanent one at right, you know, right, Tiger yeah. Sky Tree. They have more time. To yeah, be able to, like, put and it's like the food, it. the the food items that they have and like how they present it is actually matches the theme of the Kirby universe. I'm like, oh, mm. they actually put some fucking effort into it, and the merch is actually good.